Hey guys, this is Beth from Avery Home Decor. Today we are putting together a Yida Home coffee table. And I've got with me here the instructions, simple and easy assembly. This video is sponsored by Yida Home. I wanna take this opportunity to give them a special thank you for the collaboration. You get this pamphlet and we're gonna go through step by step on how to put this together. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get organized, get all my items that I'm going to need laid out so that I can look at my manual and just let it guide me for which tools I'm actually going to be using to assemble the parts. So I like this color. I got this particular coffee table in a gray. So you just want to check all of the materials to make sure that you have everything in your package so they give you this easy guide on what should be included and how many and then you just start to assemble so if you look in the upper right corner you'll see the box and these are the parts i took out and started to assemble i've got my screws and my little wrench here that came in the kit and this is actually going to be the base of the coffee table that i'm putting together right now and i've just got four pieces for the base all right guys don't ask me why but this is actually something i enjoy i like the power of being able to assemble things myself i put together fireplaces as well as buffet tables and chairs this is my first item putting together for yita homes but we'll visit their website so you can take a quick look at some of the items that they sell there and this is basically the last step for this part that we're putting together. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the next step, which is conveniently located on each page of your instructions. Make sure you check out the description box to get the link to visit the website. And let me know in the comments what you think about the items from Yida Homes. All right, these are the next two pieces I'm going to attach to the coffee table. And what I'm doing here, I'm just screwing in these pieces first. I just like to go ahead and do all the identical pieces at the same time. And I have everything set out so I can just grab them and they're really easy to screw in. So I'm going to take you to the website so you can see what are the furniture items they have as far as home decor. And at the end of this video, I'm going to let you see this table and how it functions well with our room. All right, so here is the website for Yida Homes. And again, I want to thank them for the opportunity to collab with them. I love the items I've seen on their website. So I was really excited to be able to get this coffee table and actually can't wait to show you the other color it comes in and let's go ahead and get back into this assembly all right that was the last screw so I have to tighten my screws they gave me this handy screwdriver that was already in the kit so I don't have to worry about parts so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then move to my next pieces that I need to put in here so I'll show you how I finish screwing these up really quick in the upper right corner, but I want to give you a sneak peek of the next items we'll be adding to the coffee table. All right, guys, so I'm going to explain what I'm doing, then I'm going to fast forward so that you can see the process. And we're going to be done with this table pretty shortly. So the next thing we're going to do is put these wooden I call them dowels in the places that they go. I usually take all the identical pieces and put them in at the same time. It just makes this process go by faster and smoother for me. And basically once I get everything in where it goes, there's gonna be some pieces that you slide on top of these pieces that are standing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that all turns out. So we're going to take our next piece and one thing you need to do that's very important, make sure that piece is the correct letter for the assembly and make sure you're looking at the pre-drilled holes to make sure they're not flipped. Make sure you have them on the right sides that they're supposed to be on and we're going to go ahead and put these together.
Keep in mind that you may have numbers. This is number five piece. So we're gonna go ahead and get those all put in their places. And once we do, we need to do one more thing, which is screw everything down tight. So there are some pieces that you have to place on the inside of the coffee table. So they're hidden and it looks like a seamless piece once you're done. And you're just going to take your screwdriver once you put these pieces in and remember that's already included. You don't have to go and buy a screwdriver and you just tighten them. You tighten them by counterclockwise twist and I give them a pretty firm twist just to make sure it's locked in there pretty tight and the table doesn't move. As you can see there, nice firm grip, not too tight, but firm. All right, so let's go ahead and get the rest of these pieces done, but I'm gonna fast forward and show you what the rest of them look like together after I've done the process. So let's go ahead and get to that. So we're almost at the point where we're gonna connect the base of this coffee table to this part. And I'm putting in the wooden dowels and there's a piece that I'll be putting on top of these dowels. It already has the screws in it and tightened, so it should align perfectly. I've got to flip it over on the side though, because there's some pieces that I need to show you. These are the pieces that are going to go inside the pre-drilled sections that will hold the screw in place. You just pop it in there and take the handy screwdriver that was included in your assembly kit and go ahead and tighten that in. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing here. This is the inside of the table. It actually has compartments. I wanted to show you at the end, but for installation purposes, mm -hmm. there are arms that you install they're pre-drill holes that guide you where to tighten everything, your screws and so forth. My word of advice is to make sure you have your arms on the right sides and you can actually flip it down and put the top piece directly under it and screw it down in the pre-drilled holes. So the next part of this table installation will be what's going to hold all the items that's going in which is the actual bottom of your coffee table and you're going to be attaching the base simply by screwing in these screws that are labeled in the packages and you just tighten them down with your screwdriver speaking of compartments this table has a sliding drawer and you put these brackets on via the pre-drilled holes using the screws that are included and you attach the tracks to it as so. And you should be able to put that on top of the table. So let's go ahead and see this in action and let me show you some clips of what we used it for. I'd like to give another special thanks to you to Holmes for the opportunity to collab with them. I hope this inspired you who thought you could do something like this but wasn't sure to go ahead and give it a try. Do some assembly. Try to get something new in your home and take credit for building it. So go ahead and make sure you check out the link in my description box and browse through their website and see if anything catches your eye. I had so much fun putting this table together and I hope these little decorating tips gives you some ideas on how functional the table is. And I'll see you guys on the next one.